the heart of Boston's bustling innovation district stands a beacon of modernity, 10 World Trade. This is more than just an office building. It's a testament to what the future of smart buildings and enterprise connectivity looks like. This really is a beautiful building. It was designed by the architecture firm Sasaki and they've included these incredible Gothic arches in the atrium here, which give it a feeling more like a cathedral, like Cologne Cathedral or the Sagrada Familia in Barcelona than an office building in Boston. It's very spectacular. Today's businesses need more than just space and power. They require seamless, reliable connectivity to thrive in a digital world. Modern buildings like this one are leading the charge with next generation indoor 5G infrastructure. I mean, connectivity is, is ubiquitous in our daily lives now. And especially when you have a building like this that has so much steel, so much concrete, triple pane windows, and the built environment around it, uh, it's not a nice to have, it's a must have. Why was it important for you to work with Ericsson on this project? You know, Ericsson is a, is a generational company, right? It was more than just their brand recognition and the reliability that comes with that brand, but also their unique ability to be able to guarantee that with the DOT system, regardless of which carrier your company may be tied to, it will work on day one when you come to the office. We talk about technology, we talk about sustainability, but what we don't talk enough about is how that actually impacts the way we experience a place. And so whether it's the Ericsson Dot or the smart windows that we have here, it's all about creating the most enjoyable environment possible for our tenants. So that is an Ericsson Radio Dot. And you know, I know it doesn't look like much, does it? It could almost just be a smoke alarm or something. But actually there is a huge pivot taking place around that tiny device and the technology that it contains. In our largest customers, we are starting to see traffic patterns which are very interesting. We see more traffic going on 5G network compared to Wi-Fi networks. Because when you deploy a neutral host network, as well as a private 5G network, then all of your smartphone traffic is going over that 5G network. Yeah. No one wants to log on to a web portal to connect to Wi-Fi. Right. So especially in public uh, environments where you get a lot of contractors and guests and customers, the, the phones will always connect to the 5G network. Yeah. Similarly, in industrial environments, your, all of your industry tools, all of your industry 4.0 applications are running over the private 5G network. A combination of all of this traffic is much higher than what we see on Wi-Fi networks in these customers. Bringing the outdoor network in is table stakes in assets like this. Mm -hmm. uh, there's the expectation on the part of tenants, visitors, vendors even, that their phones are going to work everywhere. So what was it about Ericsson as a partner uh, that made you pick them for this project? Ericsson is, you know, the backbone of the three carriers networks typically. Uh, and so it gave us a carrier grade solution, one neck to choke, uh, all the way through. So it, it was a really easy decision. And what was great about it was once we got to know the product and got to know the team that supports us, we got more and more creative with it. We started deploying, we've deployed it in ways here that we just couldn't have imagined mm. until we got to the solution. It's been a great partnership. This technology, indoor 5G, yet again proves how digital infrastructure combined with physical infrastructure is the future of industry. Not just here in a smart building in Boston, but across industries worldwide.